In this video, we are going to look at Phelan's test for carpal tunnel syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. Traditionally, standalone tests have no added value compared to a thorough history taking in the diagnostic process of carpal tunnel syndrome. Phelan's test was also excluded in a clinical prediction rule of Wehner as its predictive ability was too low. You can find a video on the CPR of Wehner in the top right corner. Furthermore, Valdez et al. from 2013 report a positive likelihood ratio of 2.68 and a negative likelihood ratio of 0.54 for the test, which renders its clinical value rather weak. To conduct the test, the patient is in standing or sitting position and is asked to maximally flex both wrists while pressing the dorsal side of both hands against each other and to hold this position for one minute. In a positive test, the patient's paresthesia in the distribution of the median nerve will be reproduced, namely tingling in the thumb, index and middle finger and or the medial half of the ring finger. All right, thanks for watching. You can check another video on the left and also make sure to check the links in the video description down below. All of our assessments can be found in our assessment ebook or mobile app and if you want to dive deeper into clinical reasoning and musculoskeletal pathologies, check our online course. Links to all of this are in the description down below as well. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.